How's it going guys? My name is Bernard Bpug and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the Freedom Trail right here. This is a quest line you have for the train faction network right here, the Underground Railroad Peoples. And they are very, very helpful if you choose them as your faction and such. But with this quest right here, I feel like a lot of people in my mind would have some issues with this. And I do stop at points in here just to give you guys a better understanding of where we're going and what we're doing exactly. Now be assured that this is not an easy area to go through. I do recommend having power armor. I know I'm missing a leg in some hands but I made it work and I have grenades and a ton of weapons and stuff so as you can see like right here where I just went it can get a little bit confusing for some people but you always want to go up and check these and just make sure you are going the correct way just like this because it can get split up and trust me people do get lost over this so as we're going to be going up here we're going to run into a lot of ghouls like the zombie type of people the super mutants as well as like some dogs and I believe there are some people that we run into like the raiders and such also so something you can do before you do this quest definitely try to clear some military bases there's an easy military base that is very close to sanctuary that you can grab some institute weapons out of which I'm actually using a legendary weapon that I achieved from a vendor for saving up a lot of my caps and I've farmed a lot before I really went into the main quest line so this wasn't that bad for me and you could also have a stealth boy if you wanted to also so you want to just continuously be more and more careful up here and we're gonna just inch up this way a little bit more and this is the part where you can get kind of lost right here and it gets really confusing so you have to just look at that keep going here because you can see a little bit of it right there and this is where you will more than likely get lost but you just want to keep going straight right here and following through all of this. Alright, as you can see, it met up right along there. Alright, now going across here, you're going to see there's a lot of dead bodies and stuff. This is actually a friendly place over here to our right that I'm nearby. And the reason I'm standing at these is when you hit X, it plays a little dialogue and everything, but I had it muted just so it wasn't overlapping the audio or interfering with anything. So as you can see, here's one of our companion buddies. It's not really our companion buddy, but it's a dog, and it's attacking us. And please be aware that my aim with some of these weapons was not the best, and I, I didn't really use VAT. So it was uh, it was a little bit all over the place there. Alright, so now that the dog is dead, we're going to continue to move right up this way through here. And I did try to take this video pretty slow for you guys, so at any point if you do get lost, feel free to rewind the video and everything. And hopefully this is helping a lot of you so far to get through this. Alright, so right here I just discovered the old corner bookstore. There's going to be a lot of feral ghouls right here. This is where you want to be really careful. I should have had my shotgun out, but my laser rifle did a very good job at killing them. And just make sure you click these along the way. It's uh, interesting dialogue and stuff just when you go through all of them. And it just plays along with like the role play side of the story and stuff. Alright, so up here you really want to be careful. Just stay to the right, go up these stairs. There's a super mutant camp over there, but you're getting very, very close to your location. So no need to worry. I actually had a shotgun here for a second, but I realized I just should have pulled out the flamer now. And the flamer does a really, really good job on the goals, definitely. Humans, it does pretty good as well, also. Alright, so we're going to keep heading up here. Go down the stairs. You want to be careful here because sometimes there is, as you can see, there's a super mutant right there. But there's usually one with a rocket up in front of me where I'm looking also behind the cages. And right here is when I decided to pop my stealth boy and just try to sneak past most of this stuff. Because this part right here, it gets really rough. So there's a fenule hall, fenule hall, something like that. You'll go past that. 
and you just keep going right back through here through this it's just perfectly straight all right and this is where you want to be careful because there is a super mutant right there there are suicide ones in the game and they have mini nukes so if he hits you you're going to blow up and it's not going to be pleasant trust me so if you have a stealth boy I recommend using it right there where I used it because that is probably by far the hardest area that you could go in so right here you're going to connect back onto your red brick road And I noticed from coming back in this area right here where I crouched in, there really isn't too much other things other than right here to your right behind where the tires are and such is where I noticed some super mutants when rechecking the area also. So as you can see, I was definitely very cautious right here during the whole thing. Alright, so now you should be at your location up here. As you can see, I quick saved. I'm going to slide this video into another part right here, connecting, so it's going to fade off in a second, and we're going to cover of what you guys need to do once you're inside the church right here, and the little code you'll have to use under the catacombs side of it. Alright guys, welcome back. Here we are fading into this. We are inside the church right now. So we're going to go explore around right here a little bit. Just see if there's any loot at all once we go in here. Always check for loot because sometimes it'll spawn here, sometimes it won't. And once you get in here, you see there's some, some lamps and everything. And if you see the little house right there above that, that's where you want to go. You want to go under this. Hope you guys like my little Pip-Boy flashlight right there I got. Now, I do recommend using the flamer down here if you have it or a shotgun. It really definitely helps out. All you really got to worry about down here is some goals and it's nothing too bad. So we're going to keep heading down into the basement once we check all this stuff. Alright, so now you want to sort of take your time through these corners and all that. I did try to stay a little bit sneaky and everything just because it was my first time going down there. But as long as you follow the lanterns right there on the wall that's painted, you'll be going in the correct direction. As you can see, there's some goals up here. Alright, that thing just burns him out of this world. As you can see, there's nothing really back there either. Alright, we should be closing on, on the end of the tunnel right here, and I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do once we get to the end of this. And I think closer to the end of this part is where everyone's going to have a lot of issues with, because it's very confusing unless you really think about what you have to do here. So there's going to be a button on the wall. Pretty much, you're just going to want to spell railroad in it, so you're going to do R-A-I-L and then R-O-A-D. You can't just click where the rail is right there and think, oh, it'll just get the whole thing. Because that's what a lot of people that I know have thought. They're like, oh, if I just hit the R, then I can just type in road or something. So you want to just spin it to the correct way in the right direction. And just showing you guys there's nothing back here as well. So you want to spin it in the direction. And then when the arrow is on the letter, you're going to press the button like that. As you can see, if I want it to spin counterclockwise, I'm going to get A. And you're going to hit that. Now, you don't have to hit anything for a space because it's all going to be together. But that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and hopefully it helped some of you out with this quest line. I thought, thought this one was uh, pretty rough, like I said. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I do a lot of variety of stuff, mainly focusing on Black Ops 3 right now a lot. But thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Leave a like rating if this helped you out, and share it with your friends also. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.